Okay, Business 137, it's Mr. Rankin. I want to run through, we've got a project coming up, so I want to make sure everybody um, doesn't have any problems with it. And I also want to give some tips. So um, you can, there's a link to the project under the uh, project tab, or you can just Google MIT simulation clean smart, and it's the first thing that comes up. And we'll go over here and we'll say play simulation. Make sure you play as an individual. I may have said earlier play as a, a part of a class. Play as an individual. You type in your Wake Tech email address. And you just say log in. And you'll be taken to the game. There are instructions. You can hit X here. And here are your decisions. You can change the pricing. You can change the number of employees. You can adjust their compensation. You can do some financing on loans. You can do some financing via equity financing. And then to advance, I think you've seen this video before. Once you've made your decisions, you just hit advance. And it'll advance to the next quarter. And then you're going to want to keep an eye on these tabs up here, which tells you what's going on with your sales volume, your income statement, your cash flow. Uh, the nice part, if you have any questions on what these things are, you can it, you see you hover over this and it tells you. Like a lot of people wonder what this runaway means. This runway means this is the number of years uh, uh, at at the current rate that you have cash. So this is saying. We can last another 1.4 years with the cash we have. Keep a good eye on your human resources. There's the graphs. You can toggle between graphs and data. This is how attractive your job is to potential uh, employees. Uh, what quality level. And a lot of it depends on how you're treating your employees. Are you compensating them? Um, are you overworking them? This down here will tell you how many hours the average work week is. It'll tell you your turnover rate. Um, and what I'm looking for at the end of the game is I'm looking for your cumulative net profit numbers. That's all you need to report to me. What's your cumulative profits? The record right now is a little over $500 million. That would be get you in first place. Um, and, of course, any questions you have, email me. Have fun with this. should be a good learning process. Now let's move on to...